Okay, we're going to take a look at identifying uh, unions and the O-rings and how to tighten them and loosen them, etc. So we locked out. It's a perfect spa right here because we have three unions sitting in a row and it's, it's all three styles of unions that we use. So we're going to uh, take a look at these. As you can see, there's the, uh, the outer nut part of a union, which is we've got there, there, and this black one down in the corner there. Probably blocking it off, but it's right there. And inside is an O-ring from each of them, and there's a couple different styles and sizes of O-rings. All right, um, red pipe is a suction line that comes off, and the red is always your suction line that comes into a pump, and always the suction comes into the end of a wet end to pump the water. So this is your two and a half inch suction union, and see here, we just thread that off, just like any threaded fitting counterclockwise. And you'll see there's an O-ring sitting right here. Put it back on again. Now most commonly if you ever have a leak from a union, it's just a matter of tightening it up again. Only hand tight. You do not need to use tools or any excessive force. Just uh, snug it up with your hand, compress that O-ring a bit more, it'll always stop the leak. Unless some work is done previously, and that's a lot when we find you have a leak in the union. Someone's worked on the hot tub, be a service technician or the homeowner is coming in, we worked on it or replaced some parts, and the O-ring has actually been pinched off or fallen out completely. Now, we're gonna take a look at the next, is the, uh, your heater union, which is the black one. Now that union, that one right here, this is called a split nut union because there's two screws on it so it comes right in half and it's, the nut will split in half. The reason for that is the steel flange around the heater so that you can actually get the union or replace it if damaged in the future, replace that union and have it on the heater again. So you have a split nut union, it's a two inch split nut union. And inside of there is called a flat gasket O-ring. <laughs> Next, which is a two-inch union, it goes on to the pressure side of the pump, and it just has a regular O-ring. It sits in that groove. I'm going to remove the O-ring. That's what it looks like. Set the O-ring in, or if you have a damaged one, place a new O-ring in. There we go, it's snugged up. Um, it's made simple enough, and O-rings and unions are considered user serviceable items, So, which means the homeowner and the consumer is able to work on these, tighten them up. It's very simple to work on. So there is, again, on warranty, there's no labor component towards that. And uh, you need to go out and change some O-rings or tighten up a union. It's, uh, it will be a chargeable call if you're on the service side of things, but uh, if you're on the consumer end, quite simple and uh, there you go. Have a good day.